Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know, we have been doing uh, recently a lot of videos about portfolio reviews and talking about technical stuff involved in UX design interviews. And I wanted to start something new and to more of just to casually share uh, some inspirations that I see in the everyday work and life and things uh, related to design or maybe not as much related uh, but hopefully still like you guys might find me find uh, interesting and fun to look at so in my current job and also my past experience um, you know we have done like things like weekly inspo where like uh, you know we'll take a job and one of the team member will just take like five minutes to share something that the, the designer find like really interesting and inspiring sometimes it might be a movie sometimes it might be a book or a web Website. So um, yeah, I think this might be something um, helpful if you are looking for inspirations or just to, to, to broaden the horizon and uh, learn something new. So uh, today I wanted to share with you a website. It's called Information is Beautiful. It's a website about like how to visually convey data. Uh, I learned about this website from uh, a friend a while ago. It's, I believe there's also a book, um, the same subject. Um, it's really, I find it's fascinating. Um, and so I wanted to share this website with you guys. Let's uh, take a look. Okay, so we are looking at the website um, of, that's called Information is Beautiful. Um, there are a couple of tags, uh, but I'm just going to focus on the landing page anyway. This is where I go most of, often. Um, so as you like get onto the landing page, you will see there are a lot of really fun visuals. Um, some are more of a dotted pattern, some are like creatively more illustration involved that focus on different topics. It's really like very, it's a huge variety of topics that involved. You will see things related to uh, coronavirus, if there are things related to beauty, there are things related to nature, politics, about animals. Um, but what it is, is basically uh, a whole collection of um, data visualization. To look at an example, um, there is one I see here, it says, fast in show, what's the best stock grade according to data? Let's take a look. Um, is I love dogs. Okay, yeah. So there you go. Um, it's kind of like a affinity map in some way. Um, there's the x axis and there's the y axis. One is our data score and the other, the y is the popularity. Um, and there are a couple of things labeled here. Involves intelligence, cost, longevity, grooming, ailments, appetite. Um, on one hand it has like, oh okay I see. The x, x axis I think is uh, more on the right hand, it's more like popular or hot dogs, like, and on the y axis is the popularity. Um, so, and on top, there's also those labels about intelligence and size. And you will see like each different breed are shown in different color, and also with those like very much like this kind of silhouette um, illustration. Um, you know, like for example, let's see where I can find my favorite is French Bulldog. There you go. This little guy with like this green icon. Uh, I guess it's kind of popular. It's uh, very much ranged uh, towards the top of popularity. Um, what about our data score? The data score is not as high. I don't know what it means. Maybe it's like less intelligent. No, I think French Bulldogs are smart. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, this is like fun graph if you're looking for ways how you can communicate data in uh, a visual way to tell the, the visual story. And so I'm gonna go back to the home landing page. Um, you know, I think those are filters. So like there are some keywords on the top. So I wanted to show you another example. Say we're on the landing page and if you are just interested to look for something around the topic of food and drink, you can just tap here and this category will be highlighted and the content here are all filtered by um, visuals related to food and drink. Um, I'm gonna, oh, 77 cocktails everyone should be able to make. Let's see what this one is about. Ah, there you go. You see there are like, a range of different uh, cocktails like um, visually presented in a way with how can you make it like for example this uh, oh there's also a filter here based on what are the base drink so yeah for example you have this cosmopolitan 
uh, th these are all basically all the ingredients and all you need to make this uh, cosmopolitan uh, cocktail. So it's really fun. You know, there are also like stone and different icons to in implement like the visually. Uh, you, you can see that like those cocktails are visually presented in a way pretty much like similar to how it looks like. Um, what kind of glass or glassware it typically use and also with like the different color and the label uh, to show like what are the ingredients ingredients you will need to make it there are a couple of other tabs uh, feel free to like look around I think there's like a blog with more of the articles related uh, and also there are some like even online trainings involved um, this book is actually like I think uh, very pretty famous by uh, David McCandles um, is information is beautiful this is i i believe this is where it is all origins from um so um i think it's really brilliant that showing how huge data information can be presented in a way that is um so intuitive and also fun to look at so if you you guys are like into data or try to find ways okay i think another day one of the questions i got is how do i present my research data uh, in an interesting way. I think, um, you know, I'm by no means, I'm not an expert on this, but I'm still learning. I think this is a brilliant topic. There are so many great books and um, website resources about data visualization, but just wanted to share this one website. Um, feel free to take a look. Maybe you'll find some inspirations there. If you guys know some other resource uh, to find like fun uh, and interesting data visualizations, I would love to hear from you and uh, feel free to leave me a comments here. So I will stop it here and uh, well, there will be more fun stuff. Um, I'm really excited to share with you guys in the upcoming videos. I will see you guys next time. Bye!